This is the Earth Science Classroom. This video is looking at continental rifting and rift valley generation and production and this is part of the divergent plate boundary video series in plate tectonics and looking at how you get divergent plate boundaries on land creating these rift valleys in certain areas of the world and kickstarting the splitting or separation of large supercontinents like Pangaea back in the past and how oceans begin and the start of the Wilson cycle. So let's set the scene. The classic mid-ocean ridge divergent plate boundary and seafloor spreading that Hess found through sonar and various other scientists did work on with paleomagnetism and the age of the basaltic rock is the most common form of divergence that we think of when we talk about plate tonics. Now the less common divergent plate boundary is the one that happens on land and how you have a solid piece of lithospheric plate or connell plate that's thick and you have the slow progression of a separation or splitting scenario happen at this location on the Earth's surface with two connell plates are made from one original plate and how the magma and the asthenospheric convection currents and the magma plume is going to slowly but surely split this once solid and unified continental plate into two sections and create a divergent plate boundary on land. So the first thing you need is this rising magma plume through the mantle, from the core mantle boundary, through the asthenosphere, and this hotter material is going to rise up and sit right below the lithospheric plate, which is the crust and lithosphere. And this would be a connell plate, so it would be granitic, granite, andesite in composition, and thicker, between 25 up to 100 kilometers to where the moho is. And this thicker plate will have pressure and heat added from below from this magma plume as it's rising up, and it's going to start to form a dome, form an elevated rise in situation on the surface with the bulge and the, the increase in, in height of the surface due to the underlying pressure and pushing up of the magma. And it's going to cause this rigid solid layer of crust and lithosphere to have fault in, have fractures, earthquakes, and of course start to break apart as the two plates on either side or the one plate starts to move away and create two plates moving away from each other, which is a divergent plate boundary, which is the first stage of the Wilson cycle. So the second stage, you're going to have a series of features that are occurring on the surface of the Earth, right above this magma plume, this emergence of hot material, and causing the lithospheric plate, the continental plate, to move away from this area creating a divergent plate boundary this rift in in the continent is going to create this rift valley and you see this this change on the surface we had this de this basin this depression this down faulted depression and this basin is a large wide area of lower elevation and it's caused by tensional forces and extensional movement of the plate and you might get a few domes created in this rift valley, depends on the size and the where the magma is. And you're gonna have a lot of normal faults created on the sides where you have this movement down of a section of the crust along the fault line, which is a normal fault. And you're gonna have the creation of a graben or a half graben, which is more common where you have grave ones on either side, or if the basin becomes very large and forms a new ocean, like what the Atlantic did about 200 million years ago to about 150 million years ago and towards present, was the creation of half grave ones and also a horse, which is the section in between the normal faults that would be pushed up rather than the normal faulting area of land would be pushed down or pulled down because of the extensional or tensional forces applied to that surface. Now the tensional forces are being caused by this rising magma below pushing the above plates away from each other on either side. So you create this large basin, this large rift valley which is caused by the magma plume rising. 
So in terms of creating a continental rift valley, there are various ways that tectonics can create this feature on the Earth's surface caused by divergence. Now, the most common or the most popular or the most well-known is the example in the East Africa Rift Valley in the continent of Africa. And the plates involved are the Arabian plate, the African plate, the Somalian plate, and the Indo-Australian plate, and even above it, the Eurasian plate. Now, this example of a magma plume rising up underneath East Africa and creating this Rift Valley creates this long feature linear section of eastern africa where we can clearly see the rift valley being created we can observe the deep lakes we can observe the volcanoes like kilimanjaro and the volcanism in ethiopia and we can also observe the afar triangle which is the triangular triple point location of the divergence between both the african plate the somalian plate and the arabian plate and the red sea even is a stage ahead where we have the opening of the basin and the formation of this small sea which is connected to the indian ocean but is getting wider and wider over time so the red sea will become a larger body of water in the future and so will the somalian plate start to separate away from the african plate because of this ever developing rift valley and the stages that the wilson cycles goes through which is the creation of a new ocean which will happen way off in the future in Africa. And as you see here with this image of the African Rift Valley you have this example of this magma plume rising up and causing this tectonic process to occur on the surface however there are other areas of the world that have basins and depressions and valleys but are not always created by a rising magma plume like the one in East Africa. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on Earth Science.